install Fabric to Minecraft 1.19 or later, it's actually very simple. The first thing we need to do is load up our Minecraft launcher, and you want to load the version of Minecraft you want Fabric for. So in this case, we're going to be using 1.19. Once Minecraft opens, that means we've got the files installed, so we can go ahead and quit the game. What we need to do now is to download Fabric, and to do this, you want to go to your web browser, and you want to go to fabricmc.net, and I'll leave a link in the description. Once here, you want to click on Download for Windows, and you want to save the install on your computer, so in this case, we're going to use our desktop. You'll also need to download the Fabric API, so all Fabric mods will be compatible. So you want to click on the Fabric API link, and this will take you to the Cursed Forge website. From here, you want to navigate to the Files tab, and then you want to find the Minecraft version of Fabric API you want. So in this case, we want 1.19, which is at the top. So we're going to click on Download File. We need to wait a few seconds and then the download will automatically begin. And again, you just want to save the installer somewhere on your computer. So in this case, we're going to use our desktop. So now we've downloaded everything we need, we need to go ahead and install Fabric. So to do this, the first thing you want to do is to move the Fabric API out of the way. And you want to go ahead and open the Fabric installer. Once it loads, it should look something like this. Now for the Minecraft version, you want to select the version you want. So in this case, we're using 1.19. And the loader version, again, you just want to select the latest version, which it should already be selected. From here, you want to click on install, and that will go ahead and create your Minecraft Fabric profile. So you want to click on OK, and then exit out of the Fabric installer. So now the core files of Fabric have been installed, we need to go ahead and install our Fabric API. So to do this, you want to right click on your Windows icon, and you want to select run. From here, you want to type in percent update percent and click on OK. You then want to navigate to the .minecraft folder and in this folder you want to click on new and then you want to create a new folder called mods if you don't have it already. You then want to go into this mods folder and it should be empty and then you want to drag and drop the fabric API into this folder. This is where you're going to install all of your fabric mods. So now fabric has successfully been installed we just need to go ahead and play it and to do this you want to go to your minecraft launcher and then just under the profiles drop down menu you want to click on the fabric profile. Once you've done that, you want to click on play. So when Minecraft opens up, you know you've successfully installed Fabric because it will say Minecraft version number slash Fabric in the bottom left hand corner. And you can start playing Minecraft with the mods just as you normally would. And that's it. So if you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.